Ladies and gents, today we are going to do something a bit different. A little while ago, I was in need of real help with my regular job. I was in the process of archiving my company's website, but had to do something specific and really stupid. Due to numerous access limitations, I had to basically replace each file within a directory and its subdirectories with a redirect to where the newly archived file existed. For example, if I had a file url.com slash file1.htm, I would need to redirect users to where the file was now archived at url.com slash archive slash file1.htm. No, this is not a good way of doing this at all, but I have no server support, nor an ability to use any languages other than HTML, and can only access the files themselves, and that is it. I had a directory of about 2,000 plus files that needed updating, way too many to do by hand, so I basically needed to replace all content within each file with some kind of redirect code. I was originally thinking of using batch files, but while I could figure out individual pieces of the puzzle, I could not figure out a complete script to run, and my bat file coding is somewhat limited, so I just could not figure it out for myself. So in my searches, I came across a program called Batch Text File Editor from BinaryMark. I installed the demo, and it looks as if it'll do everything I want it to do. When investigating the product, on their website they claim that they have a program where if you do a public review of their app, they will send you a code to unlock the copy you have for free, or at least something along those lines. So here I am doing a review as best as I can. So with all of that info, here is my test and subsequent review. I have set up a directory to test this program on. In this, I will hopefully answer the following questions. One. Am I able to delete all content within all of the HTM files within the directory as well as subdirectories? Two, am I able to insert new code into all of these same files? And finally, three, am I able to use variables to input each file name into the file itself so that the redirect can forward users to that specific file within the archive instead of a generic this site has been archived type of page? So let's start the test. So here's the main screen. On the left, you will see Add Files for Processing. This is where you figure out the files you need the program to run against. And on the right, you will see Add Actions to Perform. These are the actions you want to perform on the files you select on the left. You can choose from a variety of different actions such as Basic Replace, Regex Replace, Multiple Replace, Insert Delete, Move and Copy, as well as a variety of other functions. So let's load our files. You can simply add all files from this folder, or from folder, or you can drag and drop into this panel. However, that only will bring the files on the top level of that folder, so that won't work for us. So what I do is add files matching criteria. Simply select a folder, my file content test, scan all subfolders, change include files to star.htm, which will include only .htm files, and you click search. And there you have it, all the files listed. 42 files. So now that we have all our files loaded that we want to run our actions against, I just want to show you the test file themselves. They are all the same, they just have a simple heading and a paragraph, and that is it. So now let's get on to the actions. Working with this app, we can actually do steps one and two at the same time. First, we'll add a delete action. Add actions from here, simply double click on the delete text. Lines to delete, we select all lines. For some reason, in my previous test, when I've chosen all lines but left delete entire lines under characters to delete, it did not work. However, when I chose delete specific characters and all characters, that seemed to work just fine. So we're going to leave it the way I've set it up, so all lines and all characters. Then we're going to add the insert text. You can also drag and drop the insert text into the panel. Click on insert text. I am just going to use generic HTML code. This is just a test. Then you simply click start and away it goes. Notice source files will be overwritten. Click yes and you'll see 42 out of 42 files have been processed. And once the process is run, you can test this out. Even though it says success, you can test this out by simply double-clicking on a file name and opening it up. And you see this is just a test in a heading. So it has worked perfectly. So test one and test two, check and check. Now I have not found an easy way to replace text in complicated files. If you have long HTML files that are all different, then while I'm sure there is a way to do it, to find X and replace with Y type of search using regex, I just don't know how. I'm not a programmer by nature, so I do not know. I know some parts of regex, but I'm sure you could do a lot more with a lot more knowledge of it. 
If we go back to the post action set of files, you can see a green success next to each file. If you highlight that text, you can see that the action processing completed successfully against that individual file. And if you click on that success text, a window will pop up showing exactly what actions were performed against that file, whether they were successful or not, and how much time it took to process those actions. So now I've been able to both delete all as well as replace it with something new. But can we do variables? That is the big question. Unfortunately, it does not look like at this time you can put specific file names into this program. There's a lot you can do with regex, but putting file names into the file itself is not possible. I have contacted support and they told me that they would be considered custom coding and could do it for you but for a fee, or if you purchase the complete edition. So for me, that is just not going to happen right now. So, so test 3, file name variable? Unfortunately, no. So that's my test with this application. I'm trying to keep this as short as possible. Pros, it's very easy to use for simple tasks. Very robust if you know what you're doing. It seems like there really is a lot that you can do with this app. If you know regex, you are golden. There's so much that you can do. Cons, if you want to get more detailed in your find and replace searches, you really do need to learn more, much more about regular expressions and all that that has to offer. I do not know as much as I should when it comes to regular expressions, so this app is not something I would generally pay for. Now I did find some issues with the limited trial version that you download from their website that I was using before. Things like the app missing files upon import as well as some actions not working properly. As well as the app mysteriously shutting down on me every now and again. But those issues did not appear in this full demo version I am recording this review with. However, I did have some weird issues with this version. Deleting text from the insert text options input box took some doing for some reason. The delete key would not do its job until I clicked out of the input box a few times and then back in. And as I said before, I also had issues with the delete function, where if I didn't have the delete specific characters and the all characters selected, it wouldn't delete anything within any of those files. That seemed a bit odd to me. And one final error that I just noticed is that when you close out of the application, you get some weird error pop-up saying easily process multiple files has stopped working. Windows is checking for a solution to the problem. This happens every single time, and I'm not sure why. That is definitely something the developers should look into. Overall, I have to say that this is a nifty app. If you get up to speed with everything it can do, you have an incredibly powerful tool at your disposal. However, you do need to know what you are doing, and you also need to hope it doesn't shut down on you while you're doing it. For me though, who only needed a program to update numerous files without the need for regex, this is not a tool that I would probably pay for. I am sure that there is cheaper software out there, if not for free, that can do this. But with that said, there is a lot this tool can do, and for those who know how to do it, this will be an invaluable asset. But always remember, save often. Or in this case, backup often. Anyway, that's my review. I hope it was helpful to anyone looking at purchasing this app. Again, not something I typically do on this channel, but since I do have a day job, it was something I wanted to get into and see how it worked. With that, take care and enjoy. Thank you.